channel hi <laughs> this is exciting i cannot believe i'm actually really really doing this um thank you so much for pressing play my name is anga yozi and um, today's video is titled um pros and cons of opting for a stay in nanny that's that's all i have <laughs> so i've compiled um a few items um the pros and a few cons so uh, my sister was born when I was 18 and so I was a young adult then and we, me and my mom, by we, went through about five or six nannies, yes, um, and they were all stay-ins and I do also have a um, few close friends and colleagues who've opted for a stay in nanny so I do know what I'm talking about <laughs> when I say the pros and cons. So if you are in a situation where baby is still young and you are weighing your options, um, you don't really, you're not quite sure which one to go for, um, be it stay in nanny or a nanny that comes in um, during the day and goes back home, or you are playing around um, taking your baby to crash, I've covered that in another video that I'm going to upload around the same time as this one as well. So yeah, let's just really quickly get into the pros and cons of opting for a stay in nanny. I have a list. And over here I have pros. So I think I will start with the pros and then I'll go on to the cons. <clears throat> so pros, um, first one is convenience. Like that all day assistance, assistance including some weekends as well. That is like really convenient that you always have someone just helping with you with baby. Number two, it, this is support. It's more or less the same, but the support is that depending on the type of nanny you have chosen, it's worked as a nanny before. Um, so the support is that they know more than you do about caring for a baby. So that is like um, an added support, not just help, but you know, they, they, they will show you how to do things for baby, um, um, that, or how to soothe baby, you know, because they have that experience as well. So that experience of being a nanny comes in handy with that added support, supporting you as a new, um, as a new mom, a first time mom, if be. And number three is that there is no rush hour when you're going to work, where you are rushing, get, um, preparing for baby, getting yourself ready, drop dropping baby to school, getting yourself to work, traffic, you know, um, and you could also afford to um, work late because you don't have to make extra arrangements to have someone looking after baby, someone go pick up baby, call this person. There's no um admin. You can work late if you need to work late. So as you transition into your new normal um, and having a stay in any, it really is... Um, Quite a big um boost quite a big help um if i may say number three or number four let's say number three number four is that you have an extra hand to help with um extra household chores so you might find that your nanny um has time to help out with baby's laundry um or to help out with preparing baby's food or even your food depending on what you guys have agreed on um and also just having someone around that if you need time out for yourself you can just take an hour to go um do your errands do your shopping go to a spa get your nails get your hair done um or do brunch with your girlfriends um go to gym and knowing that there is someone consistently taking care of your baby the way you know because you already know this person so <laughs> let's get into the cons hmm. <laughs> okay first one the biggest one for me personally is having to live with a stranger yo uh -uh, this one you are learning someone new you are staying with a stranger in your personal space just sharing a space with a stranger for me is just number one. Number two is the level of unreliability, the possible, manditi, manditi, possibility of unreliability is fairly high. <laughs> Let's just say that, man. <laughs> that is the second kind. Like 
it's high um when i say unreliability is that yeah we've heard all stories in a book on someone making an excuse not to come to work okay short story <laughs> so uh, our very first nanny with my mom when my sister was a baby um came from eastern cape we we're still living in cape town and she came from the same village my aunt stayed in my aunt was a teacher in that village so out of nowhere like we thought me and my mom we were all good we were like feeling like a nice family she was doing really well with taking care of my sister and then out of the blue girl what is the city bam her mom is sick yeah she said came back came to my mom said her mom is sick she needs to go to eastern cape asap i will so teen is working on dana like like okay fine my mom was like okay it's okay let me just find out from can i just get my sister my, my aunt to go and check on your mom because my 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 aunt was teaching in the same village that this lady came from so my aunt was like okay i'll go after school um my mom my aunt goes and um goes to our nanny's um family home to go check on the mom like like how serious is this so is it serious enough for someone from Cape Town to go um go down and just take care of her or see what's happening? Because they were, she did stay with um her other daughters. It's not like she was alone. Okay, fine. My aunt gets there and my mom is like, my aunt gets there, she's like, um, I'm looking for Mama Gan Ban Ban. Um I was told that she's not well. And then my daughter was like, Mama Gayko. Where was Ma? Oh mama, what has she been? She was at a tavern during the week. She was she was not sick. I don't know if she she got well or if she was ever sick. Nobody knows. Cool. My aunt leaves. My aunt calls my mom. Like, no, I got there. They were saying um she wasn't there. She was at a tavern. Then my mom was like, okay, so girl Utini. And then oh girl was like, yeah, I'm sure she felt better. So and nobody told me. And all along, so I was in matric the year my sister was born and I was 18. So I was studying really late. Not that I did very well, but um, <laughs> so I was studying really late. And I think I slept around like 1 or 2 a.m. And I was sharing a bedroom with this lady, with this nanny. And I overheard her speaking. And then I, and then her boyfriend called and I could hear that they were arguing and he wanted her to come back asap and he didn't understand where she was what was she was doing so i think that was why i think there was like um some sort of a some sort of, of a tension between her and her boyfriend and that's why she just made up a story to to <laughs> to go back home you know so that wasn't the last story that we experienced but i'm just highlighting the level of unre unreliability from our nanny from staying nannies that is number that was number two with the young short story <laughs> and then number three the the other one is that there is no set budget so you are going to spend slightly more on your groceries because it's another full-grown adult that is living in your space in your household and you have to account for her meals and she might eat the same food that you guys do but um it's going to be more because normally during the day when you at work or everybody's at work there's nobody um eating nobody um preparing two three meals now when you have another full-grown adult looking after your baby they are eating all the meals that they need to eat they're snacking in between they're drinking um the coffee the teas the the juices the drinks or the whatever beverage that they take which is non-alcoholic <laughs> so you're going to have to budget um to spend slightly more on your groceries than you did before you had a stay in nanny and the fourth one is your budget your budget if you cannot afford to pay 4022 rand for your nanny do not have a stay in nanny because that is the minimum wage as per the department of labor and this came out last year 2021 so if you cannot afford to pay your nanny a salary of 4022 rand i'm around there do not get a nanny because you cannot afford it um and that being said 
whether you're an employee you're an entrepreneur you're a consultant or you're an influencer content creator and you're getting paid for that nobody wants to be exploited for the services they that they provide right so please don't do it to another human being who is taking care of your most precious being the most precious thing that you have which is your child do not go and exploit them and try and negotiate with them and ask them how much they want because at the end of the day these people are no different from us they are also trying to make a living they are also wanting the best for their families they're also working to provide and take care of their families so please if you cannot afford to pay your nanny minimum wage you can do not do not get a nanny like no don't be unfair okay i got a little bit touched there but another con is always having someone in your space you cannot you're let loose you cannot be free with your family um i know my partner <laughs> he likes to be in the house topless i know how he is when we have um someone around or people around he doesn't carry himself the same way that is because he's less relaxed and i think the same goes for myself as well so yeah that thing of just always having someone in, in in your space you have to be respectful you cannot walk around half naked you cannot be be kissing and like you know being all lovey-dovey being in the moment wherever you find yourself because the person is there like you have to respect the other person and you always have to be carrying this with you at the back of your mind but okay can you, oh you can't do this i like random hugs i like random i love yous so I don't know maybe you guys don't care i don't know but like for me i would feel awkward i'd feel uncomfortable if we have doesn't matter whether we're the same age or they're older or they're younger and my guy's like i love you out of the blue out of like no i'm gonna feel awkward i'm gonna feel funny like no you're embarrassing me so <laughs> so for me that is like the biggest con like you can't just be spontaneous with your person because there's this other person if you can even get it you know so the other con that i don't like well there's a lot of things i don't like me as you might have picked up but if like your nanny is not doing what you want them to do or they're not doing something like they didn't um do the baby's laundry that you guys had agreed on or they're feeding baby this i dread i dread doing that um that's why that's why it just wouldn't work for me personally as an individual other people don't have a problem with it it's not a big deal they can do it they'll do it over and over and over again like yo i can't guys because people are different you might get a nanny who is i don't know who just doesn't care or who forgets or who, feel, who thinks you are uh, too strict or you, who thinks you are too pedantic about everything and you you would have to remind them on how to do whatever Oh, 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 you are, uh, no, I'm not about that life. So that is another con for me, hey? Maybe I'm making this con thing too personal. <laughs> I don't know, but I mean, I might be making it too personal, but I hope it triggers some thought processes in your head as well, you know, whoever's watching. And it makes you narrow it, um, your options easier and quicker down because now someone has um, mentioned things that, you don't even care about or never even thought about before and that is the purpose of this channel is modern day age motherhood things that um working moms entrepreneurs stay-at-home moms um like you know about bananas are along the way and i'm here for that i am here for all of it i think i think i've reached the end of the video thank you so much for watching i really appreciate your time Thank you.